where they're saying, if you identify as white, come to a meeting because we want to make sure you uh, can thrive and strive not to be a racist. They're assuming every kid is a racist, Candace. Absolutely, and I know that Megyn Kelly pulled out her, her children from school for similar reasons, and this is a big topic that I cover extensively. I truly believe that it's time for us to pull our kids out of school, and I know people say, oh, well, not all of us can afford to do that. This is The country wasn't built um, on people having a lot of money when they were homeschooling, um, and, and we're starting to see this more and more. It's indoctrination that's happening. They're, they're trying to fuel uh, race issues in this country. They're trying to teach this Marxist ideology, and the bad thing is here, Maria, they're replacing uh, hard academics. These kids are not learning science, not learning mathematics, they're learning how to hate white people, they're learning how to hate their country, um, and this is problematic for the future. What they're trying to do is guarantee that they have an ignorant group of people that vote based on emotion. This is a Democrat long-term strategy, and it's finally coming into fruition. This has got to stop. They're also dividing us with this H.R. 1, saying that H.R. 1 is the answer for minorities to vote. I am so tired of black Americans, Hispanic Americans being used to further the Democrat, the Democrat uh, power uh, and, and everything that the Democrats want to do. And we've seen this time and time again. And it's always a game of linguistics. They tell you that it's going to help you, right? Voter, it's, it's to combat voter suppression. But votes are not being suppressed. This is what the left always does. They make it sound good when, in fact, they're actually after the exact opposite. When I hear them saying that they're trying to combat voter suppression, I almost know, I always know that what they're actually after is suppressing votes themselves and making sure that they stay in power. H.R. 1 is extremely, extremely dangerous, and we need to make sure that we are trying to combat it and fight it every single manner that we can. How do we stop this, Candace? Real quick, you say take the kids out of school. How do you ensure that the curriculum is not biased the way it is right now? It is biased. It is 100% biased. Quite frankly, I think parents need to start yeah. suing schools. They will win if they start suing schools for this sort of stuff because it is okay. blatant in discrimination. Candace, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks so much, Candace Owens. That does